Hello and welcome to Dragon Roll TV. My name is Demix and this is Total War Warhammer 2 playing as Karak Kadrin and this is episode 7. I want to say 7 and I want to stick with it. Could be wrong. <laughs> but let's waste no time and jump straight in. Um, so last time we decided we're heading to Mount Squighorn and we're going to continue doing that with Ungram. So let's just go boom, take a risk. And straight away I've managed to mess up. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Could 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 have messed up here, but actually, I I wouldn't mind that fight to be honest. I didn't expect two army two armies there though. Wow, good going. But um, uh, the dwarves have an army there as well, so maybe we'll be lucky. But numbers might not count for much because if they fight us, it'll be in the underway, and uh, that would benefit us. So I actually haven't that nervous about this fight. If they if they come for us, that could go well. Um, And that's everything I can do, is it? Looks like it. Prepare this stuff. And cannons and thunders. Seems like a worthwhile thing to build. Public order is minus three, that's not good. I was under the impression that my public order would be fine at this point, so I wonder what has changed. Because if I have to untax that, I'm in a bit of a tight spot. Let's see what happens next turn. I don't know why that's... Oh, devastation. That's why. So that it won't be there next turn. Good stuff. Okay. I grow restless. Right, this should be interesting then. Let's see what happens with these orcs. Do you guys want to trade? No. Probably just tried that before on the last episode. Okay. I'm pretty sure they'll attack me. I see no reason why they wouldn't. They would think they have the upper hand. The AI will think their balance of power is wildly in their favor, but I disagree. I think we'll win that battle if they fight us. We'll see soon enough, I imagine. Oh, look, Thorgrim. Now, they might not attack. Simply because... Well, there we go. That's that's great news. <laughs> That is great news. That worked out well. So now we don't even have to fight them. Or, well, we can just fight Morglor on his own. I wonder why they didn't move uh, Morglor into Mount Squeakhorn. This is good as well. We want him to take Mount Squeakhorn, of course, because then we will be able to trade with them. So that's more money. And eventually we'll confederate with them. Oh, a green screen wag. Oh, it's miles away, thank goodness. Critical failure. Excellent. Heavy cornstones growth. And now we are researching the income. Good. Okay. We definitely want this fight. This will be fun. <laughs> this will be a fun fight. Uh, before I do that, though, let's just check what's going on back home. Karagungor, we can upgrade that. Or... My preference, let's upgrade Nashrak's lair first. Um, because, we, you know, we've got no use for this yet. Uh, part of me is thinking I should destroy this toolmaker and instead get a um, another public order building because we are lacking the public order up here. It would be good to get it into a net positive rather than just... Ha and minus 98, zero. It means that if anything happens up, up there... We need to untax it. So yeah, let's do that. Let's demolish this, and I'm going to build a public order building instead. Sacrifice a little bit of gold, just to make sure that everyone's happy. Um, okay, let's do this fight. And this, do this doesn't look like it should be too difficult. They have a little bit of cavalry, some chariots and some squig herders, but nothing much. And orc boys just get annihilated by quarrelers, so this should this should be a fairly easy one, I hope. I love fighting orcs; they're my favorite people to fight as dwarfs. It's so much fun. This is a reckoning. Yes, yes. Okay, we're going to go from the left-hand side. Dwarf warriors. 
Gonna have the Slayers on the right hand side, one on the left. You know what? I've kind of messed this up. There we go. That's better. So three on this side, four on this side, five leading the way. As always, Ungram and our trusty runesmith, Garam Deanson. That looks good to me. And we're going to advance on them. Let's go here. That looks good. Pump those dwarven legs. I think they're actually getting a bit too close. Let's just do that. That looks better. That looks good. Definitely. I mean, if Morglor is going to just open himself up to get annihilated by our archers, who can? Who am I to say no? You know, who am I to say no? Smash him up! Oh, here come the squigs. Let's get some archers firing on them as well. Take them out as quickly as possible. They're trying to flank over here. Let's send these guys in here. And that's him dead. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> Squig's dead. Ungram's going to have a good time in there. Let's send the Runesmith in to help him. Squigs are annihilated. Let's fire on this big pit here. Uh, we'll take those Night Goblin Archers out first. Let's get the Slayers around here, and we'll send these Slayers after them. No point in just standing taking that hit. Might as well get some... Uh, Some units after them. Ah, I was hoping that they would just let them get flanked, but they didn't, so... But that's a good engagement there, because now they're going to get creamed by these archers. Let's fire into that there. Actually, that'll be better, because it's just Ungrim and the Runesmith, so that'll be... That's just fish in a barrel, as they say. Like a regular shooting gallery. They're just going to get annihilated. The car two dwarf floors just surrounded by orcs. I'll do the normal. Okay. I always go for cinematic first for some reason. Oh, yes. There they go. <laughs> I'm not surprised they're running away. Oh, you're going to regret that, buddy. Oh, wow. He survived the hit, though. Go him. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> he just looked at it. You're gonna try. He's still gonna try. Oh, there goes his head. Let's <laughs> fire on these guys. Uh, oh wow, the skulkers have really hurt our slayers. Must have come in behind them there. I was enjoying the cinematography, so I had to just stop it. Oh dear, slayers! Problem with slayers is they fight to the blooming death. Goddamn slayers fighting to the death, making me lose them all the time. Let's fire on these skulkers. Fire on these. Let's use that rune of wrath and ruin on here. And buff up the armor. I should get rid of the last of these guys. Slayers into the back of these goblins. That should finish them off. Very nice. Okay, we got him. Victory! And our Slayer is just getting absolutely annihilated as always. <laughs> Poor Slayers. They don't have a good time in my army. Do the poor Slayers. Okay, good victory. And just for the extra um, experience, we'll also sack Mount Squakehorn. Need to make sure we've got military access with the dwarves as well, because we're going to be on their land when they take it. And we don't want to upset them, we want them to be our friends.
Uh, gonna take the extra money. I'm running a little bit short on money at the moment. Let's get Rally. Oh, hang on. What's this stuff here? 15% weapon strength fighting against green skins. Vampires, Chaos, and I feel like that's the one to go for because we're going to, you know, you, I, I never have trouble with the green skins of the vampire counts, but the, the Chaos later on, they can be a real pain. So part, part of me is like, that's a good investment, even though I don't need it now. Well, I don't need to decide now then, do I? If I'm, if I'm thinking like that, though. So let's leave that for now. Um, so yeah, I'll just get Rally, I think. It's never a bad idea to make, make him awesome though as well. Armor plus six. This is a wasted point, isn't it? I don't know why I did that. I don't think I'm going to bother going for Lightning Strike on him. So let's go for, uh, Rally. So we can get these things here. I'll stand your ground. And then I'll, I'll... After that, we'll focus on making uh, Ungrim into an absolute beast. Make him beast mode. I am the Slayer King. Let's talk to these guys. Please. Oh, God. Let's offer a little bit of money. Nope. Nope. Still nope. It's not moderate then, is it? You're lying. Okay, Jesus. Um... Let's attack this fella here. Should be easy enough. Try and get my slayers out of the battle. Not get them killed. <clears throat> Let's see where the reinforcements come. Might be a fun position. Who knows? It is a fun position. Oh, poor guys. And let's go. So this is probably going to be a slaughter. Nothing can stop us. Pour those forward lights. Strike out. It is an order. Cut. String the axe. Bow through. Move now. Move on. <laughs> Those first guys got melted. Just let them continue to shoot at whatever they can hit. That's absolutely fine. Oh, poor, poor orcs. <laughs> what a massacre. Let's make sure they don't come back. They are going to come back, though. Yeah, but this time they won't. There we go. Obey me. Might have to move these archers back a little bit. We demand blood. Right off. Back you come. Just so you don't get charged. Attack the Good job. Little bit messy there, but it's fine. It's fine, it worked itself out. Oh, that guy just got smacked flying. Let me take these uh, 
chariots out. They've been a bit of a pain. Let's see how Garim's getting on. Oh! He is fucking them up. <laughs> oh, wow! What a meaty swing that was. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. And he'll be dead. Hopefully there's still enough units in the in the garrison to give us another fight as well. Just for the experience, there is some, some remaining, so we'll get a fight there as well, which is good. I don't I think he's dead now. I get to retreat again, because he was in fortify stance, so sometimes the different stances can allow you a third retreat, but I don't think so. But I'm often surprised. <laughs> uh Let's take the gold. Yep, they're dead. Mount Squighorn. I am the Slayer King. Oh, get a level first. Dowie Firepower. Definitely. Missile damage plus 12%. Missile resistance and reload time for rank 7 and above, of which we have one so far. Nearly two. Attack! Definitely get away with the wee auto resolve here. Don't be too punishing, please. Look at that. 58 losses. It's just it's just nothing like what we should lose. Sack that. And there we go, a bit of extra XP for us. And I'll get the second master of the forest. Get that oath gold. Keep keep it coming. And now. Will you give us that now? After we, uh... Wow, he really doesn't want it, does he? It would really help us out, because he's not going to like that we're standing on his land next turn. But we're going to have to do that. I'm going to offer him all my gold. I really want to make sure these guys like me. What about that? Uh, three, three, seven. That's really good. Yes, okay. There we go. That was worth it, in my opinion. Maybe not. Maybe maybe it's not, but I feel like it is. <laughs> it makes me feel better. I can just stay there. You know, they'll trade with us hopefully straight away. Um, we're not we're not already trading, are we? No. Yeah. So yeah, they'll trade with us. Hopefully, um, that will be good. And we can stay there, heal up, and then continue going down because we want to take the Black Crag. That's where we want to be. How are we looking with Confederation? Still a wee bit off. Still a wee ways off. And Goombad's doing fine. Turn till population increase. Two, and then it'll probably be another three turns. Probably five or six turns before that can increase. Uh, Karak Ungor. Ah, still the same turn. Okay, let's pass our turn then. We're very close to being able to field a second army. And then I feel like we're just unstoppable at that point. Need to start looking up the wing conditions and seeing what I need to work towards. I was worried with the new DLC that my uh, my campaign wouldn't be compatible, but it seems so far that it's all fine. Just hope there's no late game issues like um, there was with the pirate DLC, where the game would just turn 130, just suddenly crash, <laughs> and there's nothing you could do. Faction emerges the bloody spears. They didn't take it? Why didn't they take it? <laughs> okay, well, we're just going to keep sacking them for the free XP. So, there's that. <laughs> yeah, no reason not to. 
Sure, call my allies to help. Why not? Ah, oh, wow, we have to fight this manually. <laughs> They've actually got a little bit of an army here. Ah, well, no problem. I love fighting orcs, as I said. More orcs to kill. It's good for me. It's bad for us, though, because I had hoped that we'd get replenishment this turn. Okay, where's the reinforcements coming from? Oh, nowhere, they're all starting as one army, fair enough. Let's do this. Forward! Let's move Ungram here and the Runesmith here. Goblin Riders getting annihilated. Don't really have to engage the Slayers, which is good. Let's fire on the chariots here. Move these guys forward. These guys are fine. Let's take these guys out, trying to flank here. But I'll just kill them. Shouldn't take any time at all. They're facing the wrong way, so they're just going to get gunned down. They are going to get a charge off here, though, by the look of it. Let's charge them back. I don't fancy their odds. <laughs> Ungram, as usual, doing absolutely fine. <laughs> Let's get him fighting this... Goblin Lord, though. As soon as he dies, it'll be over. Oh, we're not on guard mode. Oops. Oops. Let's shoot these guys point blank. That should do pretty well. Five slayers left. God damn, man. They're just such glass cannons. Kill him. Don't let him get away. Ah, never mind. <laughs> Our poor slayers. Only five of them left in this unit. God, <laughs> we need some replenishment and we need it now. I think we'll go to, uh, we'll, if we've got enough movement left, we'll move into the dwarves. Land and hopefully replenish there. Sack that for absolutely nothing, but we got rid of their uh, army at least. And we leveled it. Wow, we got loads of stuff for that. Jesus. And then, let's march over here. Oh, we're not going to heal here, really? We're in friendly land. Okay, interesting. I really thought we'd heal here. Might have to go into uh, fortify stance then, it would seem. Let's get blessed by Grungni. Or stand your ground. We'll get stand your ground first. I feel like this isn't, you know, I'm less likely to get melee troops to last that long. Because they just die so much. Look at them. Bronze Chevron. It's it's not a nice life, being a dwarf warrior. It's really not. <laughs> not in my armies, anyway. 
You have one job, just to not die as long as possible, but the likelihood you will die is still quite high. <laughs> Come on, dude. Ugh, you're useless. You're useless. Okay, let's pass our turn there then. Come on, dwarves. Take take Mount Squakehorn. Stop holding out on us. Just take it. So we can move on with our lives. Because <laughs> I'm not taking it. Perhaps I've just wrecked it so hard they're just not interested. They've still not taken it. I can see on the map they haven't taken it. What are they doing? What are they doing? Fools. <laughs> Oh, I just thought they're not at war with the bloody spears, are they? So that's why they're not taking it. I didn't even re I didn't even think of that. So that's why they didn't take it in the first turn because it rebelled. The bloody spears took over it, and they're not at war with the bloody spears, so they just left it. Stupid AI. <laughs> so if I raise it, they'll take it. So I should raise it. That's what I'll do. We will burn it to the ground. Let's do that very quickly. I can't auto resolve it, sadly. Oh no, I on't They have nothing. Let's raise it. There we go. Raised. Good stuff. Hopefully they will take it now. Uh, nothing else to do, I think. Oh, we can upgrade Kazadirkulis. Excellent. Do I want to do that, or do I want to wait? No, we'll do that now. That's good. Get the level 3 growth building. Peak pass, population surplus, excellent. Oh, just one though. Not quite good enough. Part of me is now thinking that I should have gone for the growth building instead of the catapult building in Karakungor. Just because of the amount of time it's taking to actually, you, you know, to, to get back up there. It would have been a better investment just to build a growth building, get it upgraded, and then build the, uh, the siege weapon building later. I could still, I could still do it. But I have spent a lot of gold upgrading it, which is, so it would be kind of a shame. Take a look next turn at what our options are and how long it's going to take, because of course we are getting the, the third level uh, growth building in Kazadirkalaz as well, so that should be okay. Maybe I just need to be patient. I feel like it's 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 going very well, you know? Very, very well. There we go, extra gold. Wow. The will know that fate is on your side. I have foreseen it. Go away, you. <laughs> I could delete this and build another growth building and that seems like it's not a bad idea to be honest kind of means I wasted the gold but at the same time you know, mistakes were made doesn't mean you should yes. stick with them okay, he's he's going to take that one day we don't know when it's going to be but, it, but he's going to do it so let's go into this stance and try and Replenish, or we might just be better. There we go, we can reach home. Let's just do that. That's a lot more replenishment that way. There we go. Um, I might change my mind, actually. I might just stay going this way. This could work. I might just go back and declare war on the, the vampires, after all. How far are we off a confederation? What if I offered you all my money? Would you be interested? No. So miles away, then. It's just going, it's all going fine. <laughs> there's there's no conflict in this movie. <laughs> I feel like it's just all going so well. I'm like, I need something to happen to mess it up, to make it a bit more challenging. This is legendary very hard, guys. No, I'm not, you all saw it. I started it on this, I haven't changed the difficulty. <laughs> I 
I think um, one of the next campaigns I'd really like to do is Clan Angrand. Dwarfs again, but, you know, much more difficult, right? Clan Angrand with... Um, who's the lord of that? Who is the lord of Clan Angrand? I can't even remember his name. That's bad, isn't it? I know what he looks like. I can see him in my head. I'm like seeing a picture of him and I can't remember his name. God damn it. They are. Speak of the devil. Clan Angrand, there they are. And we encountered the Barrack Far. There we go. Okay, fresh turn. A wrong put right or a wrong put right. I have no idea why this does this. Right the wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. I'm going to uh, call the episode there, guys, because that's been half an hour. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I don't know what we'll do next time. Maybe to clear war on the vampires, try and spice things up. <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe, like, blah, 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 <laughs> usual stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>